for our shoot with the piano, what we wanted to do was kind of like make it look as though we're building a scene around Glenn, uh, maybe as like a songwriter or a writing lyrics, whether it's words or, or music and things like that. Um, so we use the piano basically as a prop, but we're also using Glenn to kind of like fit in with the piano. Uh, so we started off with the piano, but we also brought in like a notebook and a pen. So it almost looks like he's here actually like doing something and working, which, um, you know, just kind of like overall leads to the believability of the photo shoot itself. So the overall concept was just create like a relatively natural looking portrait based around uh, the piano. And um, we're also using this light to help light the actual scene. And um, anytime you can do bring in like an actual light like this, it's gonna help look a little bit more real, like that's what's actually lighting the scene. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about our lighting, props, wardrobe, and um, kind of some camera angles, some settings, and uh, go from there. Now, as far as props are concerned, we're focusing on one big prop. And in this case, it's the uh, piano that's behind us. It was just sitting in this room already, and uh, we thought it might be pretty interesting to use. So in doing, you know, something like this piano, we start off like, okay, instead of just having someone like sit at the piano, like, hey, I'm here and there's a piano behind me, what's well, kind of like a story we can develop around that. So that's where all the other props kind of come in. Um, things like the notebook paper, the pen, we're, we're writing these things down. Uh, the lamp is a prop in this case, but it's also a light source, which is very cool. And um, yeah, and then the wardrobe we changed a little bit to be like a little bit lighter color, maybe a little bit more um, casual because this is a shot, maybe like you're, you're sitting in a, a basement or something like that, composing a song or writing some lyrics. So the props kind of like build into the concept and vice versa. So our camera settings for this shot, we're shooting at one over 60th of a second, which is still a relatively low shutter speed. I wanted to make sure a lot of the light from the lamp is actually uh, lighting our subject here. We are using strobes in this case, but we're okay using some of the light from the lamp here. We're also shooting at 1.4 aperture, so it's super shallow depth of field. Again, we're focusing directly on our subject. Uh, a little tip when you guys are doing this, if you don't want your subject in the middle of the frame, sometimes we'll do a focus and then move, recompose, and then take the picture. Focus, move, take a picture. Uh, what I would not recommend doing is focusing once and then taking pictures for you know three or four minutes because focus is gonna change constantly, especially when you're using a shallow depth field. So I focus in between almost every single shot. Um, our ISO here is just 200. So we're, this room is just a little bit brighter. It's, you know, it's inside. We're not getting any sunlight from the outside. So it's, it's not incredibly dark, but I did wanna make sure we're getting some of the light from, from here as well as just a little bit of the ambient from the room. So our lighting for this shot is uh, relatively simple. We've got four lights that are kind of contributing. We've got the overall ambient, which is what you guys are seeing now. The second light is coming from this lamp, which I can't really adjust the power on this or anything like that. So I have to get my camera settings right for the ambient and for what this lamp is doing. And then we bring in our two other lights. And one of the lights is actually, you can't see it here. It's, it's outside of the door, kind of like way far away. And what it's doing is it's firing a light almost the exact same axis of what, was, what would be hitting the light. So a light is basically gonna light up part of Glenn's face and our strobe that's way outside there, it's just on a seven inch reflector shining. I mean, it's like 10 feet out there shining through a door all the way back here. And that's just gonna light his light, the face with the same type of light. So we've got a CTO gel on that as well, which is kind of giving the same light profile as this would. So where this falls off, the other light is just kind of taking its place. The next light we're using is another, um, it's just a seven inch reflector with a CTO that's right up here. That's kind of pointed up and out to, towards the ceiling, which is giving us a little bit more ambient, but a little bit of it's coming out. And because we're shooting from this angle and Glenn was looking like this, it's giving us a little bit of rim on the side of him as well. So that light is shooting for the ambient as well as the rim. Now we weren't playing with like color temperature too much in this. We didn't want to do like the warm to cool. We started playing around with a little bit cooler color temperatures, but it looked contrived. Like why would there be like a blue or a green light in this scene, which looks like a basement scene or whatever. Um, so we wound up scratching that and just made everything warm. So our light is a bit warm, our ambient is warm, and our two strobes are warm as well. Now, one thing that was kind of like throwing us off is the wall behind us was actually completely white. Well, there was like a mural here when we started and um, it, it was just really distracting. The, the white wall kind of like took attention away from our subject. So we've got this curtain and just kind of strung it up back here and shooting at an angle, this took a, care of about half of the shot. And during the photo shoot, we had uh, Zach actually holding a reflector, like a black reflector right behind our subject as well. Not high enough to where it would block the rim light, but high enough to where in the frame, you could, you could see the black reflector in there. What it's gonna do is it's gonna make it a lot easier later on if we decide to, in post-production, if we decide to like put a dark colored wall in here, like maybe we shoot a wall that's like wood paneling, it'll be pretty easy to put that in 
after the fact because we have that like very nice cleaned up. And if we don't decide to do it, not a big deal. We still have a background that's not very distracting. Composition, we wanted this to be relatively tight. Um, I'm shooting basically from this angle for the majority of the shot. I wanted to make sure the lamp was in the image, um, obviously our subjects in the image, the piano as well as the piece of paper. So we wanted to be relatively tight. This is obviously like this room is not, it doesn't look like the final image like pretty much at all. So we had to be pretty tight because we're kind of creating a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a fantasy here, especially with what we've done with the walls. So because the images don't look like what the room is, if we were too zoomed out, you'd see too much of the actual room that we're in. So we wanted to be really close and um, just make sure that, also with, you know, with Glenn, when he was posing, um, we had you kind of like get closer and closer and closer. So it was almost like you were doing this sometimes. Um, the more he spreads out, the more like negative space is gonna be in this image. And um, the more we would have to like back up to include more of the room. So we wanted to make sure that the composition and the posing went together and they were both really tight. So that's the whole shot. Basically, we started off with a completely different lighting setup. We had, this wall was um, covered. It was actually a mural here. We had a light coming from the top down and we were gonna be shooting at this angle with Glenn. Um, originally, I thought that might look interesting, but in the end, it just wound up being not the shot that we wanted. So we covered up these walls, we changed our lighting, we went more with like a rim lighting style instead of directly from above and um, took like what you know could be seen as like a somewhat like real moment where he's actually sketching um, something down on a piece of paper. So, and explaining it, 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 it's totally fabricated, but the end shot is supposed to look at least somewhat real and that's, that's the whole point of it. Guys, thanks so much for joining us for this behind the scenes look at how we pulled off this image and the lighting. We hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see your shots coming soon. I'll flirt you later.